All right, 466 grains, we're going to do a crony. Then we're going to talk about some arrow stuff. Two fifty-seven. Okay, today I want to talk about arrow launch lethality. We're going to take a couple of uh, measurements and uh, then go into arrow launch lethality. Okay, 456 grains. Nineteen inch arrow, yeah, aluminum to aluminum, nine and a half inches center. All right, what are we at? We'll say, yeah, yeah that's a uh, three point seven five. All right, three point seven five. Divided by 19 equals, there you go, 19, really almost 20% FOC, but 19% FOC. Okay, hopefully this is fairly close. We're just going to see arrow drop, and this is 20 yards. Then we're going to go back to 30 and look at the difference in trajectory. This is about uh, 466 grains, 200 grain point. Not sighted in for this, or we're just going to see where it impacts at 20. All right, 466 grains, 257 feet per second, 30 yards. Aiming with 20 yard reticle. Let's go measure it. It's close. Top arrow to top arrow is 3.75 inches. So out to 30 yards. Aiming with a 20 yard reckle. You're inside the kill zone. Gain center of the rib cage out to 30 yards. In the center, you're going to drop down to the bottom of the kill zone. What if they drop five inches? You're in the middle of the kill zone. What if they drop ten? You're at the top of the kill zone. So, arrow trajectory 257 feet per second, 19% FOC, shoot feathers uh, easily, a 30 yard trajectory if you just aim center. What if it's at 25 yards? Well, it drops about two inches. If you aim center, and that deer, deer doesn't move, or animal doesn't move, it will hit it two inches below center. All right, well, let's say that deer drops seven inches at 25 yards. Well, your arrow's already dropping two, so you're still in the kill zone. My experience, just in the last two or three, four deer I've shot with this crossbow, they drop about three to four inches. Even at longer yardages. If their head is up, if their head is down, different story. And I've got seven two liters. We're going to shoot 456 grain arrow and see how many two liters we go through for a penetration comparison. I've already done this with the Black Cat crossbow at 165 pound pull. This is 195. I'm probably shooting about 20 feet per second faster with this bow. So let's try this. All right, I'm going to sharpen this. Establish a burr. That's good. Catch you some thumbnail. Let's drop. Break off the coarse burr. Leave a refined, shorter, stronger burr, sharper burr. Catching the nail. Okay. 
There you go. This is kind of thick paper. This is not school paper. This is printer paper. All right. Let's see if she'll go through. Seven jugs. Here we go. All right, Barnett, CRX, Wildcat, seven chugs, 456 grain arrow, 19% FOC, uh, 257 feet per second. I see a knock. <laughs> Seven jugs. Pass. There you go. Something I'll touch on quickly is just based on arrow weight. If you're shooting an arrow, it meets basically all or 90% of Dr. Ed Ashby's 12 factors. You're at 650 grains. Okay, if you're not willing to accept how much that's going to slow your arrow down, if you're not willing to accept the loss of trajectory, which is massive, especially at longer yardages, when you go from 20 to 30 yards, you're talking about probably an 8 to 10 inch arrow drop with a 650 grain arrow. Not to mention, you're probably shooting into 230s versus the 250s, and that is significant. If you're shooting 235 with a heavy arrow and 240 with a light arrow, not much difference. So my point is... I think 450, 475 is a good arrow weight for ribcage shots. You're going to get past those. You're going to hit the animal faster. They can dodge less. And at 257 feet per second, you don't have to be as good at estimating your yardage out to 30 because of that window of trajectory is still in the kill zone. So am I against heavier arrows? No. But I'm just saying you have to decide. If you're just going to take, say, 20-yard shots in the end or 15-yard shots, hey, go with 650 grains. But if you're wanting to, my experience is that I have a, I have a larger obstacle of estimating yardage and hitting animals before they can significantly move than I do on arrow penetration. So I'm going to take two out of the three aspects instead of just concentrate on arrow penetration, arrow lethality. I'm going to, I'm going to choose the side that has fat, faster arrow and flatter trajectory because those are two problems to me that are bigger for me to overcome than uh, penetration if I'm already getting good penetration with a 450 grain arrow or 475, 500. So that's been my test results. So there you go.